Finally, tonight's story of a man from Cleveland who for almost three decades served hard time for a terrible crime he insisted he didn't commit. Lots of folks in prison say they're innocent. In this case, it was proven to be true. And this week, after all that time, everything changed in an instant. His story from NBC's Kevin Tibbles. More than half his life, nearly 30 years in prison for a crime he did not commit. You're going to have to bear with me, Mr. Tyler. But in a few brief seconds that must have seemed an eternity, Raymond Tyler was a wrongfully imprisoned individual. 52-year-old Raymond Towler was exonerated, free. God is great, and that's what kept me going. You know, I didn't really do it by myself. Towler was sentenced to life in prison after being convicted of the 1981 rape of an 11-year-old Cleveland girl. Well, here we go. All along, he maintained his innocence. Just two days ago, DNA evidence proved him right. DNA testing has no bias. It has no memory problem. It speaks loudly and clearly. Towler spent the day catching up on all the bureaucracy of three lost decades. Social security number, new birth certificate, reestablishing his life. In all those years, a lot has changed, especially the Cleveland skyline. When I drove in the city, I didn't even recognize it. And when he went for pizza with friends, a new reality. If somebody wasn't taking a picture with a cell phone, somebody was texting, or somebody was talking, or one was ringing, you know, all 22 cell phones, you know, all at one time, you know. For the judge who left the bench to shake his hand, a personal message. I offered to him the Irish blessing. May the road rise to meet you. May the wind be always at your back. After spending years watching his beloved Cleveland Cavaliers on a tiny prison TV, he'll attend next Tuesday's playoff game as a guest of the team. But he'll be going as Raymond Towler, never to be known as inmate number A16468 again. Kevin Tibbles, NBC News, Chicago. Incredible story.